Today's electronic cooling designers are faced with numerous options like which type of cooling fan to select, how many fans to install, type of heat sink to use, and so on. With SolidWorks Flow Simulation, you can now quickly evaluate all the options before choosing the best configuration. In this demonstration, you'll see how Flow Simulation will help in deciding the number of fans required for cooling the electronic enclosure. First, let's take a look at the configuration with just one fan. We'll use SolidWorks Flow Simulation to determine the maximum temperature of the four components of interest. We'll define these as design goals. Using a property manager style interface, we can easily set up the heat power for the components involved. For the SOP8 chip, we have set a heat power of 8 watts. We've also specified the type of fan that's used. SolidWorks Flow Simulation has a list of commonly used fans, and users can also create their own database of fans. Let's take a look at the results. The goal plot tells us that the maximum temperature of the chip SOP8 is 453K, and this is higher than the acceptable temperature of 425K. We can look at the movement of air inside the enclosure using a flow trajectory plot animation. Also, we can plot the temperatures of the various components as a surface plot to visualize the temperature distribution. Now, let's look at the configuration with two fans. Notice that the setup is very similar to the previous configuration. The goal plot for this configuration tells us the maximum temperature of the chip SOP8 is 420K. This clearly tells us that adding another fan brings down the temperature. We can look at the movement of air inside the enclosure using a flow trajectory plot animation as we did before. Thus, SolidWorks Flow Simulation helps you to compare different configurations easily without ever leaving the SolidWorks environment.